Hello and welcome to my lunchtime. <laughs> it's quarter to one. I'm still really, really liking the fact that the clocks went back because I'm waking up an hour earlier. Well, I'm not. I'm waking up at the same time. It feels like I'm waking up an hour earlier and I'm getting an extra hour's worth of stuff done earlier on in the day. So that's brilliant. I'm feeling very good. I hope I can keep it up and I don't end up reverting. Anyway, I'm having lunch because I've already got lots done today, including my flute practice. And at the moment, I am doing technique and also harvesting a few Welsh tunes to learn out of this book that I was mentioning the other day so I did a bit more of that, I did an hour in total now I'm going to have lunch and this is what I call a homemade ready meal which is a bit of a contradiction in terms but basically ow, I cook too much on purpose so I can have my lunch now without having had to have spent time making it note to self, use two hands on the splatter platter next time not do it whilst vlogging unless I've got a tripod of course Nom nom nom, I'm gonna enjoy that now. That's actually really hot, I'm gonna leave it for a minute to cool down. I still can't believe how hot stuff is coming out of my new microwave after all those years with the other one that I had. Um, today I am gonna have a day at home mostly. I might nip out to a shop in the evening. I might do for a change of scene and a bit of a walk and I do need a few things, not super urgently, but it kind of combines exercise with something useful. So I might do it. I'll see how the time goes. I've got a number of music related jobs that I need to do up at my desk. So I'm gonna be plodding on through those today. Lunch is eaten. And time for a cup of tea now. While that's brewing, I can show you which puzzle I started last night. I bought myself this so long ago from Home Bargains, like last December or something like that. And so I went for it first. It was still wrapped in cellophane. As you can see, I haven't got very far with it yet, but I didn't have an awful lot of time late last night. Anyway, I made a start. That's all good fun. I always seem to not be able to find a few of the side pieces. So there's still some side pieces in there lurking somewhere. They'll turn up. Right, up we go then. Time for some afternoon work. Oh, I'll need this that I printed out at about half past midnight last night. Oh, it's chopped and flipping off. <sighs> I've got it on an email. I'll fill in the gaps. I have no idea why my printer does that sometimes. It must be something that I'm not telling it to do. It must be me. Right, there we go. I need to get myself a music book called Blood Eyed Grieg. I think it's called that anyway, because we keep on referring to it all the time and people keep on sending me pictures from it and um, I should just get my own copy, really. There we are, 9.99. All the Welsh favourite session tunes in there. I won't get it now. People keep asking me what I want for Christmas, people in my family, so... Um, I want one of them! <laughs> <laughs> then it can, uh, I can stop pestering people for what's your version exactly that you play because all these tunes like you can type in and you can get them online and a version comes up but it might not be quite the same that your band person plays and then you might learn a different version anyway I got this off sale I said sale do you know because right on Sunday I did an absolute load of muse scoring for guys so I was typing out into notation software tunes that we are going to be learning all together as a group in the coming weeks and it's easier for guys to learn from that because he doesn't read music but with the software it plays it for you and you can see which note is being played because it kind of highlights it as it's sounding so it's really great for learning tunes from if you've got somebody that you partnered up with or type it in there for you in the first place i.e me <laughs> so there's that yes yeah, so i did a load on sunday when i wasn't vlogging but this one the Wrexham Hornpipe, I thought, I kind of have a passive awareness of this rather than active. I've kind of picked it up from other people playing it and I've just kind of joined in and I seem to be able to, in that context, play it perfectly well. I think if I didn't have anybody to play along with, I'm not sure if I'd remember exactly what all the notes were. So I'm going to try and now get an active awareness, not a passive awareness. So I've got Cell to send me his version. But when I first asked Cell, he admitted that he's been just busking along with it as well for years. And then when I told Guy what Cell had said, Guy said, oh yeah, I have as well. <laughs> so I don't know how we've been managing to play it, the three of us, all listening to each other and just trying to sort of busk along with it. Anyway, we're gonna learn it properly. It's about time. There we are, it's there on my big screen. Sorry about the flashing, it's the screen rate. I don't know how to change that. I've done that wrong. Let's see, I told you. So that's the bit I was getting wrong. Well, I've done it and it's quite different to how I've been playing it in places. And do you know what? I think I've recorded this in the past, so I should know it, but it's so long ago I've forgotten it.
There's the mixer there. I turned the metronome down a bit because it was a bit in your face at the default volume. I'm just quickly cording it because I don't know if he wants the chords or not, but I might as well pop them in because it'll only take me two minutes. G. Oops, this is awkward with the camera in the way. Just do Command K and then you can type your chord in there and it just adds it. It's great. C. I'm just copying this off the thing. That's the first bit done. Like magic, isn't it? Good, that's that emailed off to Guy so he can try and practice that for tomorrow if he's got time. Because we are rehearsing again tomorrow, so we'll probably go through it. I'll just read it off the sheet in rehearsal, I'll be all right. I need to sort my folder out now for that band, it is getting ridiculous. Loose sheets everywhere, honestly. There's a lot, like fistfuls of loose sheets now, so I need to get them in some sort of order at some point, but not right now. Next job on my list is a pretty quick one. I just need to diarise all the details for Saturday's gig that I've got coming up next Saturday. I've said it before, I like to do paper and in my phone as well, on my phone diary, just in case one or the other one gets lost or damaged or stolen or broken. I've just got back up then, and I? Me again. I'm not getting very far with that task. You know what it's like when you try and do something and then a can of worms opens? Well, for some reason, my Yahoo, there's a whole message thread. Guys put all the original details for Saturday's gig and somebody said thanks very much and someone else has said that's brilliant, see you there and so on. Because we always like to acknowledge when we've got the information so Guy knows, his mind is at ease, he knows we've all had it. So that's what we do. Anyway, so I've just, I marked it as unread yesterday because I was out and about and I didn't have time to get to it until now and um, all the previous messages have just disappeared. It's just Mick's last one saying, you know, great, see you there or whatever it is he's written, I don't know. So I've restarted my computer, but it's doing the same thing on my phone, so I think it's Yahoo. Just logging back on. Oh, the joys. Usually when Yahoo glitches, it doesn't glitch for long, I find. And usually restarting my machine works, but I don't think it's going to, because it's doing the same on the phone. But let's see, shall we? But it's gone. The whole email has disappeared. That's a bit weird. Right, this is not very interesting for the vlog. Well, that was an epic fail. Next thing I need to do, put expanses in my books. <laughs> very sophisticated storage system, as you see, yes. My receipts waiting to go in. Before I do, I might have a quick search around the house. Pockets in my bag, pockets in my coat, pockets in my trousers, anywhere that might have receipts stuffed, I'm gonna go on a hunt. <laughs> okay, so the Yahoo issue was me. Mick had not responded to a thread. He had just written a separate email. That's why I couldn't find it. Anyway, blurred out here, we have got one pile of receipts for September and one for October. I can't believe, frankly, that I let them round up so much, but I have. So I have now put them in some sort of order and I'm gonna type them into my spreadsheet. And I'm still being terribly old fashioned when it comes to my receipts. I clip them into a ring binder in date order, separated by months, basically. And one of these days I will go digital <laughs> with my receipts, but it hasn't happened yet. I was just doing a great big enormous yawn and stretch in my seat and I was thinking I should be vlogging this. It's showing the reality of what happens to my poor brain when I sit for hours at my desk. That took me ages. I I didn't realise I had two months worth. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I've put them all in very carefully. I have to concentrate or I get mixed up, you see. I don't have an accountant. My accounts are simple. I'm just one person. I'm a freelancer. I don't have staff. I don't have premises as such. I don't have a vehicle. I don't have stock. I don't buy and sell, so I can manage it on my own. It's better if I do it weekly though, rather than two monthly. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go and collect my prescription and I'm gonna go to Lidl actually. I've looked at the shopping list and I think Lidl's the best place and I don't think I need a trolley. I'm just gonna take my backpack on my back. I didn't quite get to everything, but I've kind of had enough. <laughs> Might have a slight tidy up, I think, and see what time it is when I get back. Decide whether to do any more. It's half past three now and it's quite, dark out, well it's not dark but it's definitely not light, put it that way, it feels later, it feels hours and hours later for me for some reason. Anyway I forgot to say, got a new umbrella yesterday in Tiger, flying Tiger. I was with my mum anyway, I wasn't filming when I was with my mum, so I filmed before and after mostly, but I got this brolly and I didn't see how big it was in the shop, it's massive, look at that, I love it. Ha ha ha, everyone's gonna be telling me I'm gonna have bad luck now. I'm not superstitious, so I'm not worried. I suppose it might be unlucky to put an umbrella up indoors if you accidentally bash it into things, like light bulbs and jars off the shelf. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna take it with me because it's looking very murky and ominous out there. 
Oh, I like that effect. <laughs> I'm gonna catch my hair if I don't watch it. Right, I'm going out. It was seven pound, by the way. I feel like every time I arrive in Lidl's these days, I tell you, it was just really raining heavily out. Well, it just was. I'm actually not buying any fruit or veg today because I'm going to IB's tomorrow, straight from rehearsal, and I don't know when I'll be back. So I don't want fresh produce going stale in my fridge, really. And I don't need anything tonight because I've still got some of that pasta left that I had earlier. Oh, they have Fanta Zero here. Well, it's a bit of a lump to carry, but I don't need too much. So I'm gonna get it. And I don't think I can do it with one hand. <laughs> Can I do it? Yes, I can. Oh, yes, yeah, she's going for it. Soft landing on the coat as well. Mmm, they look nice. Brown rice chips with hummus flavour. So I suppose it's like rice cakes, but hummus flavour. I'm not going to get them, but they do sound nice. Soup noodles. Oh, I like those. Yeah, I will get some of those. Impulse purchase coming up. £1.49 for 500 grams. Mmm, I should have eaten before I came out, you know. It's that time of the afternoon, I'm getting hungry. Okra in tomato sauce looks absolutely lovely, but I'm, I'm just being impulsive now. 179, oh, oh, I want it. <laughs> I really do, it's long life. It'll keep in the cupboard, be a handy. Oh, I, I can't help myself, I'm being impulsive, oh dear. One of the things on my list is a cube of tissues and I bet they haven't got them because they haven't had them for ages. Oh, they haven't. I'm missing Wilco, I tell you what, I could always get a cube of tissues in there. I'll just have to shove some in my empty box. I made the mistake of buying these too early before Christmas last year. Min is he at about, oh, I don't know. I think we might have eaten two or three boxes by the time Advent came. It was more than we could resist, unfortunately. Right, I do want custard, I do want pastry, I do definitely want fake lure pack, and I'm gonna try some non-live yogurt, just normal yogurt. I'm running low on sliced cheese. It wasn't on my list, but actually, now I think of it. 189 for those. Right, let's try some non-live yogurt, £1.59. I'm just gonna get the little ones in case they set me belly off. Look at the price difference between the Dan Pack, £2.9, and £4.9 for the Lure Pack. I think this one's slightly bigger though, 500. Five, oh no, the same size. Same size. Found the custard. 75 pence for one of those. Oh, it's only little, but that's alright, isn't it? Aha, uh -huh, pastry. 119, couldn't remember where it was. Just ice lollies now then, since I can't get my tissues. They're not seasonal, are they? I've just walked this entire length and can't find any. Let's go around the other side. This is not sped up footage, this is me walking fast. Looking for ice lollies. Oh, maybe they don't have them at this time of year. Oh, no ice lollies for him. Oh. I bet the bigger stores have them. It's about 10 to eight in the evening now. This vlog is ending pretty similarly to the way it began. I'm microwaving exactly the same food that I had for my lunch, but for my dinner, because I'm just using the rest of that up. I got back from Lidl, put the shopping away. I sorted out my folder for tomorrow's rehearsal, so things are in order. And then I just felt so tired, I decided to chill out, watch some videos, drink a coffee in bed. And then my daughter rang, so I had the video on pause, chatted to her for absolutely ages, and then watched the rest of the video. And now here I am, <laughs> it's 10 to eight and that's literally all I've done. I haven't done anything remotely editing-y. I did put my footage on the timeline but that's as far as I got with it really. I just got too tired. I was like, I need to rest. <laughs> so I had one and I enjoyed it as well, every minute of it. Right, anyway, so I'm gonna have my dinner. Tomorrow's a full on day. So I've got rehearsal. I'm gonna be leaving here at half 12 tomorrow. I need to be all packed up. So I'm going to IB's officially overnight, but you never know, I might stay next night. Let's see how that goes. Uh, so I need to make sure I'm all packed up for that. And then in the evening, we're going out to meet Flute Man. <laughs> uh, so yeah, fingers crossed for that. I will see you tomorrow in my busy day. Thank you so much for watching. Please give the video a like if you happen to like it and I will see you in the next video. Bye.